Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this dose of virtual vitamin Z. My name is Brad. I'm an education specialist for the Detroit Zoological Society. And as you can maybe tell, I am here in the Holden Reptile Conservation Center. This is where a lot of the reptiles that live at the zoo stay. So today we're gonna to be talking about animal needs. And the specific animal need we're gonna be talking about today is food. So you and I are animals. And so are lizards, turtles, crocodiles, snakes, and we all need food to survive, right? All animals need food to survive. But what we eat and what reptiles eat might look a little different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you guys a couple vocabulary words. We're gonna go over some animals here at the Detroit Zoo and what they eat. And then we're gonna see some of the animals in the reptile building and see what they are eating today. First, let's go over some vocabulary words. So, first word we're going to go over today is needs. What are needs? A need is something that you must have to survive. And that need we are going to be talking about today is food, right? All animals need food to survive. I need food to give me energy and to grow. So do all animals. The next couple words all look similar. So there's herbivore, carnivore, and omnivore. Herbivores, those are animals that only eat plants. So an herbivore only eats plants. A carnivore, that's an animal that only eats meat. And then an omnivore, you might know this one or have guessed it by now, is an animal that eats both plants and meat. So herbivores only eat plants, carnivores only eat meat, omnivores, they eat both. And then the last word is diet. And the diet, that's what we eat. So, you know, all animals have a specific diet, things that they consume throughout the day, throughout the year. My diet is going to look different than a snake's diet, just like a snake's diet might look different than a turtle's diet. We're going to watch this quick video of some of the animals that live at the Detroit Zoo and what they are eating. So let's start thinking about food. And do we eat the same things as a lizard or a frog or even these birds? And then do these animals eat the same things as each other? So does a wolverine eat the same things as a bird? So we know that all animals need food, but that food is gonna look different. So here's an example of some food, fish. People eat fish and lots of other animals eat fish. Like these seals, seals eat fish, which means a fish is what? Meat, so carnivores are meat eaters, seals are carnivores. So what are some other animals that might eat fish? What can you guys think of? You can go ahead, you can type it in the comments, you can say it out loud, animals that eat fish. The Japanese giant salamander, he eats fish too. Penguins eat fish. So there's different animals that eat different types of meat, like the wolverine. The wolverine is a carnivore, but the wolverine might not be eating a lot of fish, right? Might be eating different things. Next we have herbivores. So the guanacos, they eat plants. Here's the guanacos eating some hay. Giraffes also eat plants. Giraffes are also herbivores. What are some other herbivores we can think of? What are some animals that only eat plants? And then the last type of animal are omnivores, animals that eat both plants and meat. So we saw that polar bear real quick. Polar bears might eat some fruits and vegetables, but they'll also eat some meat. So now I'm gonna show you a couple photos and I want you guys to try to tell me what these animals eat. So you can either say they eat plants, they eat meat, or they eat both. So this first picture, this is Trio, the horse and they're eating. What is trio? Does trio eat plants? Does trio eat meat? Or does trio eat both? I'm going to give you a second. You can say it out loud. Go ahead and type it in. You said trio eats plants. That is correct. Here's trio eating some hay. So trio is an herbivore. Here is a picture of a hognose snake. All right, what is a hognose snake? Does it eat plants, meat, or both? If you can see what the hognose snake is swallowing right there, it definitely doesn't look like a vegetable or a fruit. It's like the hognose snake is swallowing a mouse. If you said the hognose snake eats meat, you're right. The hognose snake is a carnivore. Here is Novus the yak, and she is eating something. So what does Novus eat? Go ahead, say that loud. You can type it in. So Novus is nibbling on some grass and grass is a plant, so Novus is 
and herbivores. She eats plants. Here are some photos of polar bears, and they're eating some different things. In one picture, there's a polar bear eating a pumpkin, which is a vegetable. And then in the other picture, there's a polar bear eating some fish, which is meat. So what does a polar bear eat? Polar bear eats both. Bears are omnivores. They'll eat plants and meat. And then this last photo, it's a wolverine, and they're carrying some food up a tree. What is wolverine? We mentioned it earlier in the video. What do wolverines eat? Plants, meat, or both? Wolverines eat meat. So that means they are a carnivore. Very good, everybody. Thank you guys for helping me figure out what these animals eat. So next what we're gonna see is we are actually gonna see one of the animals that lives in the reptile conservation center, the water monitor, and his name is Solaire. And we're gonna see him eat some food. So let's go figure out what Solaire eats, okay? Right, there is Solaire. I don't know if you guys can see what he's got there. So you can go ahead, let's figure out what is Solaire. Does Solaire eat meat, plants, or both? Yeah, so right now Solaire is eating a rat. Solaire, he is a water monitor. And water monitors, if you haven't guessed it yet, they are carnivores and they eat a lot of different things. So they are pretty common in Asia and Southeast Asia. And they'll eat rodents, they'll eat fish. His name is water monitor, right? So they do spend time in the water. Right now, Sean, our zookeeper is dropping in some fish, some trout. Fish. Go under. So water monitors, they'll eat food on land and in the water. Uh, they'll eat fish, they will eat rodents um, in the wild. So that's what they eat here at the Detroit Zoo. Um, but in the wild, they may eat other things. They might eat small lizards, frogs, um, they might eat eggs. Um, if they find their way to someone's farm, they might even eat some chickens. So Soler right now is looking for some food. Our keeper dropped some fish in there for him. Looks like Soler, he might be looking on the surface. If you can see, Soler is pretty big. So Soler, oh, we just got one. Soler is about seven feet long. And he weighs about 80 pounds. Um, he's about 10 years old. And under human care, water monitors can live well, like 11 to 20 years. In the wild, they don't quite live as long. So here at the Detroit Zoo, his, his diet mainly is rodents and fish. Could you imagine eating just rodents and fish? Does that sound like a human diet or does that sound like maybe a good diet for a water monitor? So he's going under right now, he's diving, he's looking for some food. Water monitors on average are about four to six feet long. And weigh usually around 50 pounds. He's pretty big, he's older, so he got to full length here. Uh, but they can get longer than that. They can reach over 100 pounds and they can get even longer than seven feet. So that is Solaire right there. For comparison, I set up a blue marker right here. You can kind of see Solaire swimming up against it. That is six feet long to give you some comparison of how large Solaire is. So he's seven feet. And right now he is still down there looking for some fish. He found one. So Solaire is a carnivore, not eating any plants, only on that meat diet, fish and rodents. So I want you guys to think too, does Solaire have the same diet as all lizards? What do you think? Do you think Solaire eats the same or different things? All right, each lizard probably eats slightly different things. Solaire is pretty large, so he can eat some pretty big things. Other lizards don't quite have that ability. 
All right, I think we will let Solaire eat in peace, right? Nobody likes to be watched while they eat. So I want to thank you guys though for joining me, see some of our animals and what they eat here at the Detroit Zoo. I want you guys to think about your own diet, what we eat at home and what, how they're different, right? How they're different than Solaire's or how they're different than maybe even a zebra, um, how they're different than a giraffe, right? Every animal needs food to eat, but what that food is will look a little different for each person and each individual. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you guys had a great time. And if you want more information, visit our website at the Detroit Zoo. Thank you guys and bye.